All right, man. One of my subs asked me to make a video on how the uh, Lions gonna get some of these big contracts off and what they should do with the money. So let's look at the cap space. That's some of the contracts that will be coming off the books and uh, next season. And what should they do with the cap space? Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist. Uh, shout out to the video request and always ask for video requests. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, links in the description. Twitter's the most efficient, effective way, but I try to look at all of them <clears throat> uh, as much as I can. So, uh, so you look at some of the contracts. This day contracts. They got some dead contracts in there too. Um, you got Colin two coming off uh, for two point three. Uh, so three point three with Williams coming off. Let's say another million four with High Tide. Whoever Drake Jackson is, that little money don't matter. So they got like. Four million dollars of that money coming off. Then they got some more money coming off. You know, Stafford, the cap hit for Stafford coming off. Uh, so they total cap hit. I can't really roll over and see. Hold on, let me zoom out. Apparently, I don't know what's going on here. They total tap total cap total next season. I mean, make sure I can see this. Yeah, okay. The total cap total, it looked like it's going to be $208 million next year. So uh, so overall, they are expected to have, if I'm reading this right, $38 million in cap space next season. Because uh, if you look at how it's going down, I can't, can't really go in because you, can't gonna, you ain't going to be able to see all the numbers. I can scroll in. Hold on, I'm going to scroll in. Go back. So... Look, they got a cap roll over 1.1 million, right? They got no adjustments. They got an adjusted salary cap of two not two point over 2.9. All the contracts come to 162 plus million, right? Uh, then they got some dead money and almost just over eight million they roll over. All the all all together is 170 million, right? So they end up with almost 39 with 38 and a half million in cap. Okay. So you got the staff. You got all the dead money, but the guys that you end up trading and losing, I mean, who all was it, man? Because, uh, you know, I think it might have been Darius Slay. Might be some of these. Though. They, they are projected to get around. Uh, they are projected to get around uh, four or five compensatory picks. And uh, we can look that up real quick. This is a projection. It's not official. I don't know. Um, give me one second. Um, look it up. Should have popped up on my thing. I think I might have cleared my history. So, uh, so somebody said four. Somebody said three. Um, so, so let's see. So, uh, so somebody in this season said they earned three, but it's a it's an early projection. Somebody said they earned four. So, uh, let's see. Let's go to over the cap. So, uh, so the Lions had a Kenny Galladay departure. They had a Marvin Jones departure. They had a Jared Davis departure. Uh, so they had three departures. Then you had uh. So they might be looking at uh I can't really read this chart. So I'm not sure what they look like. Oh, okay, here we go. So they might be looking at three or four compensatory picks. Somebody might say four. I think that's the article that I wrote, I read. Because they had a matter of fact, they had a departures of uh oh no. They had the departures of uh, – so they said it's expected at this point former Lions wide receiver Kenny Galley will yield Detroit a third-round compensatory pick in 2022. Projection, Mar Mar Matt Prater, Prater, Marvin Jones Jr., Jared Davis, Jamal R. Agnew can also provide Detroit with future compensations. Okay. So over the cap said the Lions receiver third for Galley, a fifth for Jones, and a sixth for Agnew. So right now they might end up with a third, fifth, uh, 
and a six. And then also you got David, so they might end up with four. So those good rounds, third, fifth, and six, man. We found Willie Jones. Remember Willie Jones, the pass rusher? We found him. I think he was the sixth round. So, you know, so right now you got three. You looking at, let's just say, let's just call it three additional picks. Okay, that's what you call it. You call it three additional picks. So let's see how many picks uh, Lions got this year. My bad. You know, Lions. See how many picks they got in 2022. Look at it. So uh let's see. So right now they that's better if I look at it this way. So right now they have I just get the list of picks, bro. There we go. So right now they have I just can't get a, a regular list of seeing what the picks are. Shit crazy. So I got two from, I just want to see how many picks they got. I just, like, internet, let's go. There you go. So apparently, they just gave me everything but what I'm looking for. So I guess we're going to have to read it how we read it. So we got one, two, Well, I don't like the way they did that neither. I don't know. I just say I'm I'm tired of looking. If this don't work, if this other one don't work out. I'm tired of looking because you asked a simple question about uh. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna just go ahead. They say they got eight picks. I'm gonna just go ahead and say they got. I'm gonna throw a rough number because I'm asking. Hold on, how many pack picks they got? And Google make me want to risk their ass jeeps to come back when they acting like they slow. So you know it is. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say they got eight. Somebody in the comment section asked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say they got eight plus the first round. You get two, three compensatory picks. They have eleven picks. So like I said before, uh, like I said before, that's cool. But uh, somebody asked me what they should do, and my thing is this: I wouldn't spend. I probably wouldn't spend. Uh, I probably wouldn't spend a lot of money. On anybody that's big, I mean, you look at the top guys. Um, let's look at the quarterbacks. It's no nothing really there. Roethlisberger, Fitzpatrick, Dalton, Foe, nothing really there. Don't really need a running back. Look at the wide receivers. We went through those guys already. Robinson, Godwin, Devontae Adams. I mean. I mean, you can take Christian Kurtz, who had a solid game, pay Mike Williams. I mean, you got some options there. Um, probably want to look at Antonio Brown. Uh, Christian Kirk is a good name. Uh, you just need guys who can play on the outside and get down the field. So, so Michael Gallup would be a good guy to bring in. So, yeah, Michael Gallup would be really good to bring in. I don't think the – Cowboys gonna fit them in. Then you talking about other positions and needs. You probably talking about the guys off the edge. I mean, you know, you probably gonna end up with an edge rusher, Von Miller, Chandler Jones, Dante Fowler. You know, he's selling me Brandon Graham, Detroit native, Calais Campbell. So we'll probably find that in the draft. Um, probably looking at safeties as a whole. Tyron Matthew might be a guy you look at. You know, uh, could have drafted him, had some issues. Marcus Williams, the guy that they did look at last year, who's got franchise tag, could bring back Quadre Diggs. Um, so, I mean, if you don't bring, if you don't want to draft a safety in, or you don't want to bring in, uh, bring back Tracy Walker, then there's some good guys here, bro. But they're going to be, people going to be looking at them. 
you know, Jabril Peppers. I think he had an injury. So people are going to be looking at these guys, but the Honey Badger is the guy, and Cadre Diggs is probably the guy for them, and Marcus Williams is probably the guy. So honestly, miss, you know, how would I spend the money, bro? Uh, just kind of prematurely looking at this. And some of these guys can get franchise tag. Just kind of prematurely looking at this list, man, I probably would say uh, – like we projecting eleven draft picks plus a what third, extra third, a third. You got two in the third, two in the fifth, two in the first. Um, you know, it depends on you know. I, I think for agency is first in the NFL, so um, it's gonna be interesting, bro. But how would I? As of right now, I probably would look. Oh yeah, we also didn't talk about linebacker. My bad, y'all. We tripping. That's really position to need going inside. Because you might end up with somebody in the draft. So really nothing there. Dante Hightower, he's older. Uh, so once again, so basically, you know, it's pushing you to draft the inside linebacker. That's what this is doing. It's pushing you to draft the inside linebacker. So um, I'm really in free agency, you probably, probably, probably want to uh, – you probably going to lose high tide, but you got Evan Brown and a couple guys in there. You might want to feel that with a, with a solid veteran. Um you probably gonna take your money and spend it at receiver. You probably bring back Josh Reynolds, make you know whoever come in plus Jared Goff comfortable. Um, you like a Brown in the slot, so really you're looking to bring in a number one or a potential number one at the receiver position because you know you can still spend spend draft capital there. So I don't I don't really mind. So you don't want to spend a lot, but you still want to get your money. Well, you can bring in Michael Mike Williams. You're gonna spend some money with Mike Williams, but you can bring in Mike Williams. Um, that's the guy you can bring in. Uh, and then you look at guys like uh, Michael Gallup. You might can trade for Michael Thomas. That's a big contract. So probably Gallup. Gallup is a guy you're looking at. Michael Williams. You know, bringing those guys in, guys on the outside, give you a target down the, down the field. And then you probably looking to bring in a guy in the middle, second, or maybe if you got a guy in the first round, you got a high grade in, and then. Just rock out with those guys. Band of receiving core. So, like I said, that's kind of where I would go. Man, I probably spend the money on a Gallup type of guy. Um, if I'm the Lions, and then where else my money would go to? Um, probably bring in a safety. If it's Marcus Williams, it's the Honey Badger, whoever the hell it may be. Uh, probably I spend my money. Yes, get some money on receiver and safety, and then. Probably some mid-level guys, depending on who available. So yeah, that's kind of where that's kind of where I would spend my money at. So that's kind of where I go with it at, as of right now. We don't know who we lose and who we keep and we trade and we not trading, but yeah, I probably look at a couple dollars on the guard, some solid money on the receiver. And also yeah, how'd I go out of the guys that I seen? You know, Robinson worth a lot of guys like that. Adams worth a lot of money. I and they older. And I would just go with my list would be Michael Williams, Michael Gallup, Christian Kirk. And if I took a Kirk or a Gallup for sure, I probably would draft another receiver. And I like Meacham. We just keep you know, Meacham tore his leg up. I let Meacham uh I let Meacham have a, a red shirt year and then I'll bring him back next year. So that, if I took Mike Williams, I probably wouldn't take another receiver. I probably would be good, but you know, with the guys we got, but but if I took the other two, I probably still draft the guy. I probably still take Meacham if I took uh Michael Williams, just the value is too good, especially if I can get him in the third or fourth round. You know, it's just too good right there, especially with the additional pick. So, um, especially with the additional pick. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, my money will be spent on, uh, as of what I see right now, depending on, you know, if things change because got players leave. Players, but my money right now, if I stay in the top two, I know I'm going to add a pass rusher. Yeah, honestly, if I stay my second first round pick, I know I'm a fine one. Up and down the, the first round, the top 10 to 15 right now, which can change, it's pass rush. I know I'm going to get one. So, how I'm looking at it right now, I probably would take, you know, Hutchinson as of right now, then my second pick. You know, I probably, you probably get back in the first round with all that late conversation, too. I probably say my second pick, I'll probably try and get a job or two, man. But I'll probably look at Jordan Davis, and he's a Brock, but. We'll see. It's always premature. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section, man. Uh, if you want to find me on social media, Twitter is the fastest way. Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. If you got a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, all my social media links there. Uh, 
Reach out. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Uh, so appreciate the financial donations. Help the channel go a long way. Hopefully you had a happy holiday. Best way to do, donate to the channel: thumbs up the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Appreciate the love support. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.